your Bibles out. We're going to read from the scriptures and we're going to be praying for the uh, church all over the world today, for the global church. Couldn't be something more exciting to pray for today than the body of Christ all over the earth. So we're going to have nations on our hearts this morning. we we'll open to Psalm 84. And uh, this is the passage we're going to pray out of today. We're so excited to be partnering in this set with churches and movements and ministries all over the world for this set aside 24 hours of worship and prayer. We get to do one hour of it, but it's been happening all over the world and we're kind of like the last ones that get to, uh, to end this 24 hours. So Psalm 84, this is where we're gonna pray from. I'm just gonna read the whole thing and let's just uh, let the words of the scripture mark our hearts. Let it have authority today as we read it. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns and even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun, and a shield, the Lord bestows favor and honor, and no good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. So as we begin to pray, I wanna ask you to ask the Lord to put a nation on your heart. You're gonna focus on praying for this nation throughout this set, and for the church in that nation, for our brothers and sisters. The first thing we're gonna pray out of is these first several verses. Psalm 84, verse 2, my soul yearns and even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Now we know an awakened church is a church that reaches the lost, a church that impacts society, a church that impacts culture. It's a church that really makes a difference in a neighborhood, a community, a city, a nation. So we're going to start by praying for the spiritual awakening of the church, that we would have hunger like it's talked about in Psalm 84, that the church would yearn and faint for the presence of God, that our hearts and our flesh would cry out for the living God. Because a church that cries out like that is a church that impacts society. So can we begin right now just corporately to take the next minute and let's lift our voices for the nation that you have on your heart this morning, that the church, the body of Christ in that nation would be gripped with spiritual hunger. They would be spiritually awakened with fresh zeal for God. Let's go for that. Let's pray for that.
disagree with me and let's just pray for a really undistracted church around the world. Holy Spirit, we read this passage and our hearts begin to burn, that we would yearn for you, we would faint for you, for the courts of the Lord, that our heart and our flesh, our whole soul, our mind, our will, our emotions would cry out for you more than anything else in life. God, we're asking that the global church, Lord, that you would fill us with a passion for this more than influence, Lord, more than, than satisfaction, more than entertainment, Lord, more than political influence, more than economic influence. God, put a burning passion in your bride for you, Jesus, for the presence of God, for you and you alone, to make you known, to love you with all of our hearts. Father, we thank you for the parts of the church across the world that they provoke us, God. As they suffer through persecution, they provoke us, Lord with their zeal for your presence. But Lord, we're asking for the whole world, every nation, God, every nation, an awakened church, God, every nation, zeal for your presence, God. Next thing we're gonna pray is out of Psalm 84, verses five, six, and seven. It said, blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength until each appears before God in Zion. This valley of Baca was not a place of refreshing or a place of pools, but it's what the, it's what the people of God turn dry places into when they respond rightly to God. We're gonna pray after these last several years, 2020, 2021, so much temptation for the church to respond wrong to respond wrong to what's going on in politics, to respond incorrectly to what's going on in culture, to respond wrong to what's happening among the world. We wanna pray that as we look to the future that we would have the grace to turn places like the Valley of Baca into a place of refreshing, into a place of life, that the deserts would have life because of the response of the church in trying times. Now, as we pray for the global church, some of the global church is in persecution right now. Some of the global church is wrestling with apathy right now. Much of the global church is in a culture war right now. Can we pray, whatever nation's on your heart, that we would have the grace to respond rightly in the midst of all of the difficulty, all of the tension, all of the crisis, that the church would run to Jesus and we would make deserts into places of springs. Let's go for it. Let's pray that.
this, we declare it over the church of Africa today. Right now, Lord, the beautiful bride all across Africa. Lord, a grace to respond rightly in persecution, to respond rightly in cultural wars, Father. We just ask, God, that the church would shine across Africa. Father, we pray right now for the church of Asia. Lord, so inspired by what's happening in the church of Asia. We pray, God, grace, Lord, to continue to turn deserts into places of life across Asia. Would you put grace and power on the church of Asia right now? Lord, we love Europe and the church of Europe. Lord, we believe for the greatest day and the greatest hour for Europe would still be ahead of it. We pray, put grace, put power on the church today. Lord, to respond rightly to the tensions all around them. Father, for North America, for South America, put your power on the church, Father. Give leaders and every believer wisdom, a spirit of wisdom to respond rightly in the midst of the tension, the chaos, and the crisis around us. Father, we pray for Oceania and the South Pacific. Lord, raise up your church, Lord. Raise up your church to respond rightly in this hour, God. We bless the church of Oceania and of the South Pacific in Jesus' name. Now we're going to pray. I want to make a, a line of people that want to pray for a specific nation. Just 10, 15 seconds that you want to declare life, spiritual awakening, uh, wisdom over the church of a particular nation. Just form a line here. We'll do 10, 15 people, short prayers, and then let's just all agree in faith together that what they're praying, we're all agreeing in faith that God would do in these nations across the earth. Let's go for it. Lord Jesus, we lift up to you this morning, the church in Tibet, God. I want to ask you, make your church strong, God. Give them boldness. Fill them with your spirit. Fill them with wisdom, revelation, the knowledge of you, God. Strengthen your bride in Tibet today in Jesus' name. Jesus, we pray that you would continue to strengthen your bride in Afghanistan. God, I ask that you would pour out your spirit and you would strengthen your bride in their inner man. Yes, God, we pray for a spiritual awakening in Brazil, God. We pray right now, God, all religion, God, in Jesus' name, I pray that the church will respond, God, when politics, God, can't go, God, we pray that the church will show up, God, in Jesus' name. God, we bless Micronesia and we ask you would pour your spirit out on Micronesia, God. Awaken sleeping men and women and children right now in the name of Jesus. Jean-Marie, God, I ask right now, Jesus, that you would use Gen Z as a revivalist for your kingdom, God, that voodoo would not have a hold over this nation. You've not forgotten about your people. You've not forgotten about your, your Haitians there, God, and their heritage and their culture. So we proclaim the blood of Christ over this nation. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I just lift up the nation of Kenya to you, Jesus. God, open their eyes and open their ears to receive the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation, Jesus. God, soften their hearts to who you are, and may you just begin to encounter them day and day. God, would you awaken the Church of America. God, we repent for settling for any man-made religion. God, we remove ourselves, and we have put you on the throne, King Jesus. God, forgive us from turning our backs to you. Father, would your kingdom come? Would your will be done on earth as it is in heaven? Lord, we just ask that you would bless the church in Mozambique, Lord that you would strengthen their backs under the persecution and that they would burn even brighter in the midst of it. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I want to pray for the Middle East, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you may strengthen, God, your people, Lord, that in the face of adversity, God, that in the valley of weeping, Lord, you will turn it into refreshing strength in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you would strengthen your 
church in Turkey, Lord, that you would unify the believers that are already there, Lord. And I pray that you would raise up young believers in Generation Z in the high schools and universities there to share their faith, Jesus. Father, today we just believe that every one of these sentences, every sp word spoken in faith actually has an impact on real people, Lord, on your beautiful, incredible church all over the earth, Father. We're declaring, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you, God. Father, we pray that all across the world that the sound of praise would, be, would rise, Father, that all across the earth 
the sound of intimacy, Lord, the sound of loving you and loving others, Lord, the, the sound of the church being the church would rise across the globe. Lord, we pray that the church would be a people that dwell in your house, not just in a building on Sundays, Lord, but truly in your presence, Father, in your word, Lord, in the revelation of who you really are. And because of that, we would be a people ever praising you. Father, we pray that in persecution, we would praise you, Father. In safety, we would still praise you, Father. When we are in battles with culture wars around us, we would praise you, God. When we don't understand what's going on, we would be a people that praise you, Father. In crisis, we would praise you in tragedy we would praise you father let the church be known as a people of praise all across the earth God so we believe we pray for a season of great spiritual awakening for your global bride thank you for the places it's already happening we ask God let it spread to every nation on earth Lord every nation on earth would have a radical sold out church that is praising worshiping and obeying you father no matter the cost in jesus name amen yeah, as we 